if you take a look back 25 years ago, we used to take our images and we'd go out and take them and snap them and go run them down to the drugstore and bring them back. And then we'd look at them and we'd shove them in a box and stick them under our bed. So many things have changed in the last 20 years with digital photography. All of our information is stored digitally. And because of that, because we don't have to go out and pay for every single shot, we have tons of information. So we need a tool, a photographer's tool, to catalog those items, to edit those items, and to output those items. And that's what Adobe has created, Lightroom. And this is made specifically, unlike Bridge, or Photoshop is made specifically for photographers and doing just that. But to get that program running, you really need a basic understanding of how the program works because it is a little different than most programs that we're used to working with. But just understanding those basic nuts and bolts will really help you down the road and make it work real smooth. And we're going to condense that into three hours and talk about preferences and oh, let's go over and take a look. We'll take a look at the program and I'll show you what what areas we're going to cover. Lightroom is divided up into seven modules and we're going to concern ourselves mainly with the library and yes we'll talk a little bit about the develop module. We'll also cover a little bit about the map module. The last four are output modules where you output your data into either a book, a slideshow, print, print to a JPEG or the web, and we'll save that one for another day because that could be a few classes right there. One area that we'll look at is the map module, and this is overlooked a lot by a lot of people because they don't quite understand how it works. Now it utilizes Google's Maps, and if you take a look at it, how I've used it here in just one way is I pass by this church out in the middle of the Dakotas and there's no way that I'd ever remember where this church was, but I thought it was really cool. So I just took a quick picture with my iPhone, grabbed my camera and took off. And now I'll always be able to go back and find it. So we'll talk a little bit about how you can utilize that. One of the main areas that we'll be looking at comes under the edit tab or the Lightroom tab for Mac users. And that is the preferences. Preferences need to be dialed in for your specific computer for performance or your specific workflow. And that is what is so great about Adobe Lightroom. There is no wrong way or right way. There's a better way for each individual photographer to set up Lightroom. And the preference area is how you do that, whether it be for your workflow, your interface with a computer, or the actual performance of the computer. Catalog settings. This is really important. It is the nuts and bolts of Lightroom and really important that we talk about this one. Also, super, super, super important. Are you backing up your system correctly? Never, once a month, once a week, and exactly what files are you backing up? File handling is really important. We're gonna talk about that messy thing called previews and exactly how Lightroom works with non-destructive editing and previews. Metadata is the backbone of Lightroom. It is how it functions. So it's important that you understand that in the basics. This area right over here on the left, folders, this is nothing more, and if you can understand this one, it's really easy. This is nothing more than a reflection of what you have on your hard drive. And we're going to really try to simplify all those folders that you have. If you're somebody that has a folder for just about everything, we're really going to try to condense it into one area. Collections, something if you're not familiar with Lightroom, this is going to be something that may take a little bit to grasp, but once you do, it's a great way for you to organize your images. Last but not least, if we have time, and I I, I say if we have time because we got a lot to cover in three hours. We will try to take uh, a few images, uh, maybe an HDR, maybe a panorama, and we will try to go over to the develop module and see how that works and jump out to Photoshop and back again, see how easy that is, and maybe even go over to 
on one or a different program and come right back to Lightroom and show you how easy Lightroom has made it. But we will definitely get to that final question of whether you can take your laptop out on assignment, on vacation, and bring it back and merge it right into your home computer and how easy that'll be with just one click and it is once you learn the nuts and bolts.